<clears throat> what up, what up? Peace and power to the descendants of my ancient mother. My name is Brother Legend. I'm here to raise your consciousness. PCC, LJ. Thank you, everybody, for tapping light. We're just getting started. When we get to 2K likes, I'm going to let people up here to answer the question. I think we need to sit down and have a talk. I think we need to talk. I think we need to have a talk. Come on down to the congregation, the Pan-African congregation. We'd like to have a word. The, the Pan-African delegation would like to have a word with you. Let's talk. Justice for Sonia Massey. Do we live in a just system? Do good cops exist? Do good cops exist in a system of injustice? Welcome to the live. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to let some people love to come answer the question. Today we're raising the name of Sonia Massey, our sister, pouring libations. That's a good question, Black Mystique. That's a good question. Hey, brother legend. How are you doing today? I'm well. I'm well. Give us your age, race, and pronouns, please. I'm 37. He, him, his here, and I'm YT. All right. Talk to us. So I believe that what happened to Sonia Massey was horrible. I watched the video several times, and it just makes me upset each and every time I keep watching it. I think, just like everybody else, that there is good people and bad people in this world here. Are there some good police officers? Yeah, but the system of policing overall, is it corrupt? Absolutely, and it needs to be reformed in this country. And I advocate for people to try to get Congress to pass the George Floyd Policing Act, because that's what our country really needs. Okay. You running for office or something? I, I am not. I don't have a lot of money, unfortunately, but I do support people here that want to make change, and I definitely believe that the policing system needs to be changed. Um, the person in my background in my picture is my state representative, Maurice West, here in the 67th District. I live here in Illinois, outside Chicago, in a city called Rockford, Illinois. Mm-hmm. And he advocates for police reform as well. He also helped get end cash bail in Illinois. So it's just, there's so many injustices that are done to minorities in this country that it's just, it's not right. I'm like, the, all the lady says, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke you. And she gets on a lie for that. Like, come on. Like, Susie said that. You saw the demon come out of that, that dude here. And it's just unfathomable that in 2024, we still have racist-ass police officers in this system. Why is it unfathomable? You, you would think as a, as a person that we, we've learned from history here. We know the history of that black and brown people have had to go through here right Se segregation jim crow here slavery how they were brought over on ships here in this country 
And mm-hmm. you think we would learn from our history and want to do better, but we keep repeating the same mistake over and over and over and over and don't learn from it. Why do you think that is? Because of the YT power structure. People want to st- keep the power here. When we try to balance out that power, the, the one side of the aisle fights back against it. Okay. And what does the other side of the aisle do? The other side of the aisle fights back against the YT supremacists and people that want to keep keep things the way it is here. And there are people out here that are like, they keep bouncing back and forth here. It's like as soon as we get 10 miles forward, they bring us back 10 miles backwards here. And it's like a, a, a never, never ending merry ground. So why does the the side of the aisle that's fighting keep losing their fight messaging Hmm. we suck i will fully admit democrats suck at their messaging we don't have enough people that talk about the things that do that why is that if they're fighting so hard sorry why is why is it that their messaging is so bad if they're fighting so hard I don't know how to answer that, to be honest with you. Well, you would think that those that are fighting so hard um, would uh, would actually, you know, be able to change something, right? If they, you said that there were good police, um, if you understand the nature of white supremacy and you understand the the uh, the way police treat minorities then where where are the good police why why aren't they uh i didn't say all police are good police here i mean like i'm on the side of all cops tell me give me an example of a good police officer good police officer like i've seen one on TikTok today that called out what happened to sonia massey here good police officer will speak out against inaction here and there are there are some good police officers, but unfortunately in the system of the policing we have in today's age, when you have a good police officer and they try to speak out, right? They get chastised, they get bullied out of the department and they quit here. So then so they're no longer police. They're no longer police officers. And so then, then you let the corrupt police officers here. That's so, why I said, that's so why I said earlier, police, there's very, there's are you very saying, little. Are you saying a good police officer is a fired police officer? Pretty much. If you speak out against the system, against injustice, then they get you out of there. So then, well, how can you say there's good police? Where, where are like, if they're not in the police force anymore, then the ones that are in the police officer would be the ones that are complicit. You know. That's what I'm saying here and stuff. Okay. Here. I think maybe maybe you're not hearing that. I'm saying yes. The sis, all cops are bastards. The, the system of policing is corrupt. It chases the good police out. They bu- get bullied. They get chastised here. They try to turn in their co- co-workers here, and they're bullied out by the police unions here. And so now they're no longer police officers, and we got corrupt police officers. So that's why I said earlier we need a reimagined police. The, we need to reform the police, basically. Okay, we need so to let's say... Away- Police. Let's say let's say we reform the police. Brand new police. No one is racist. Whose laws do they enforce? Do they enforce laws meant to protect black people? No, because the Supreme Court already said that police don't have to protect anybody. So where are the good police? There is not really many good police. Okay. There's more bad police than there are good police in the system of policing today. Well, see, when you say there are more bad than good, and I ask you if there's any good, and you say no, you confuse me. No, I said there's very little. When you got 98% bad police and you got 2% good police here, the higher number beats out the small number. So you no longer have a good police officer in the system. But if everyone left was a good cop and they're enforcing laws dictated to them and uh, told to them uh, to enforce by a white supremacist racist system how are those police good 
They're not good. That's why we need to fight back and change the laws and make it fair. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm, I'm a not bit confused. I'm one, not confused. One moment you say you, one moment you say the good police. The next moment I you mean, say like the person, there are bad laws. The person, is, the person itself. We need to reform the laws of the land. We need to reform the policing system in this land. Here, are you I'm a like, racist? Inherently racist, yes, because I'm born in a system that upholds white tea supremacy. Okay. Do you believe they're a good racist? No. Why not? Because if you're racist, you're racist. And racism is something that makes someone in naturally bad, that makes them bad? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I'm... Am I overtly racist? No. Am I inherently racist? Yes. Am I able to do things that, as a white tea person, I'm able to do things that a black or brown person in this country is not able to do? Like, I'm able to carry a pot of water in my house without fear of being unalive. I'm able to get pulled over by the police and reach in my glove department to grab my information without the fear of being unalive i don't have to describe every single action that i have to do officer i'm turning left to go to my glove box officer i'm turning behind me to reach behind to grab my registration here but yet you are racist inherently racist here we're i'm born in a system here i don't have any power to of it but i'm born in a system of white tea supremacy that i don't have to power pretty much yes mm. because of my skin color okay and would you say you're a good racist? I say I'm a bad racist, but I still try to fight to get fairness and equality for everybody. Hmm. Are you fighting the way that Officer Grayson is fighting? No, I'm f I fuck that police officer. Fuck people that do stuff like that did to Sonia Massey. But would you do what he did to Sonia Massey? In your what fight happened? for in your in your fight against bad Mac cops, what or do, you, or do you do you use words while he uses pew pews? What happened to Sonia Massey should have never happened. A mental health counselor should have gone there in the begin with. That police officer escalated the situation, and I hope that mo that mofo gets the rest of his life to think about he what he did. But do you see what I'm saying? Some people are fighting a little bit harder. I get it. I, I I do get what you see. I'm like, I at the end of the day, I try to do my best part here, where I can follow policy, vote for the people that want to change the system, while I'm working my forty hour a week job. Hmm. It's hard. It's it's not easy. This is not easy for me. Here, it's really not. I I do get sometimes confused on the words that I choose. But it doesn't make me a bad person. I, I don't blame the black and brown community for how they feel towards the system of policing. Because you think of, it's just a feeling? It's not a feeling. It's the action. The police do something here. They say they're going to change. And it never fucking changes. Mm. I'm just find, I'm trying to find uh, the good people, right? Because... Um, Racism uh, is inherent, like you said, and that means that um, whether someone is cognizant of, of or conscious of it or not, um, they still are imbued with the power to be racist and take advantage of a system of privilege. That being the case, you know, um, some are wielding that privilege to do great harm. And uh, it behooves them to uh, fight against that system just as hard as it's fighting to, to stay in power. So where are the people that are fighting as hard as the people that are, uh, you know, destroying? Like there's people that are destructive and people that you claim are trying to fix the problem. So why is it that the destructive people uh, seem to be fighting a lot harder? You know, where are the good people that use their privilege on a police officer? The way police officers use their privilege on minorities. 
And I agree with you. I'm like, we we need less talking and more action from our leaders in this country. You remember, he, remember January 6th? Yeah, when they rubbed feces all over the wall? They did a lot more than that. But uh, um, where's the January 6th? of people against police brutality why why where are where's the you know for every action there's a counteraction why isn't there an equal countermeasure um from these good fine people i'm like when black lives matter came out in protest in 2020 here i did that was led by black people that was that was that was the victim telling the oppressor that their lives matter. Why wasn't it the privileged people telling the oppressed that their lives matter? I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. To be I honest. know how. I'm just trying to find them. I'm, I, I know you struggle to find them. We've been looking. Been looking a long time. Let me go to the next guest. We got some more people up here. Don't forget to keep tapping like y'all. Let's get to 25K. Come on. Come on. Brothers and sisters in here. I need you to tap like if your lips are thicker than a snicker. You wear a bonnet to bed. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you can fall asleep in the sun and look better afterwards, look in the mirror and be like, damn, I'm fine, then I need you to tap like. Shaka, what's going on, brother? Peace, 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 brother. Peace. peace. I'm, ooh, he ran up on <laughs> <laughs> oh, he ran up on out of here, y'all. I know y'all seen the look on my face. <laughs> God, peace to the whole panel. You know what? I don't know. Nah, nah. Some of them might be built, not be built, but peace to the brothers and sisters in the comment section. You know what I'm saying? For those who knew, my name is Shaka Sankofa. My age is 21. My pronouns, he, him. My race. You can see it, but you know what I'm saying? Black, African, unapologetic. You know what I'm saying? Won't be nothing else. Absolutely. Black laws and black liberation for all black people. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I love my sisters and brothers, and I'm finna raise H E double L for the others. Like, do good cops exist? There is no such thing as a good cop. You know what I'm saying? We seen it with this, you know, you would think most of our people. Well, I know why most of our people have woke up through the systematic and psychological brainwash, but you know history repeating itself in our face. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Rodney King, you know what I'm saying? George Floyd, Trayvon Martin. Uh, I always get this brother's name butchered, uh, but Malay Bumpler, I know he was pew pew 41 times, dude. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm t I'll try to find a source on it. And post it. Uh, mm -hmm. We could name countless more. You know what I'm saying? We could talk about brothers and sisters who've been wrongly uh, convicted of crimes they did not commit. Brothers and sisters, ancestors throughout the generation who have been strange fruited by crimes they did not commit by so called law enforcement agency. You know what I'm saying? These same cops who back in the Jim Crow era, you know what I'm saying, would allow a. Uh, uh, the uh damn, what it's called when this whole bunch of uh mob an mm -hmm. angry mob to walk inside the cell and grab our ancestors you know what i'm saying and strange fruit them. the same law enforcement agency who i just named out all the names of our lost brothers and sisters right who same law enforcement agency who was the hand of their demise you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. same law, law enforcement agency the same law enforcement agency that draws inspiration from the old slave patrol from back when our ancestors was in chains. This the same law enforcement agency. Ain't no such thing as a good cop. You know what I'm saying? Every time cops come around, black people know something to go wrong. You know what I'm saying? All they are made to do is to be the natural, the modern day slave overseer. They go in mm -hmm. our neighborhoods, harass our brothers and sisters. You know what I'm saying? We got countless political prisoners because of these so-called good cops. You know, Brother Mumia, Asada Shakur, you know what I'm saying? Mm. At one time, Afini Shakur, uh, Shaka Sankofa. You name, at one point in time, 
Call of the Duel Muhammad was a political prisoner. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We can go down the line. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no such thing as a good cop. All a cop is is just some no good cave crawling devil who puts on a uniform and all that. And like uh, Third Good Marshall said, the the Triple K gang switched their white robes for badges and black robes. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is. All the police force is just a modern day. It's just an extension of the clan. The same thing with judges. <laughs> Extensions of the clan. You know what I'm saying? None of them will mean you any good. You know what I'm saying? And you might, you have some brothers and sisters, you know what I'm saying, who say, well, you know what I'm saying? It's black cops. You know what I'm saying? It's black cops. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to be real with you. Most of them black cops that is in the law enforcement agency, when they get in there, they get the buck dancing and boot licking and tap dancing, want to show off a uh, master. You know what I'm saying? Want to impress the, they slave overseer, they slave masters who also own the force of them. You know what I'm saying? So ain't no such thing as a good cop, brothers and sisters. The only way, the only justice for Sister Sonia Macy would to take that cop and give him the same treatment that he gave his Sonia Macy. That's the only justice that'll be available. Justice is the reward for good and a punishment for evil. Him getting locked up, that ain't justice. You know what I'm saying? Him even getting unalived by his own people, that ain't justice. The Sorry only about justice that, brother. I that lost will be. The the only justice that will be for Sonya Macy is to take this same no good devil and let it off in his face. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that should be the, that should be the result for all uh, of our people that get slain by these cops. You know what I'm saying? For every time one gets done, one, you know what I'm saying, gets slain, we need to retaliate. You know what I'm saying? That's the only language they're going to understand. That's the only way they're going to leave us alone. You know what I'm saying? You got to fight back. It's your God-given right. No, if I, I can add that. in, if I, I can add in, on brother. Wait, wait, hold on. We we gonna let you talk by all means. Uh, let let Shaka land. Go ahead, it's your God. It's your God given right. It's your human given right, and it's your black given right to defend yourself as a human being to protect yourself. Like Malcolm X said, you must defend your for your right to be a human being by any means necessary. You know what I'm saying? Like Khalid Muhammad said, you gotta fight. There's no good. Be, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You gotta teach our babies to do it. You see my video, brother Legend, we throw the baby bottle at them. You know what I'm saying? They no good. Law enforcement agency would never help you. I land my plane. All I right. always remember. It's the best. I heard that. All right. I think we I think we back in balance. You know what I'm saying? I think we think we good now. We back in balance. Appreciate y'all helping with the gift goal. Don't forget to keep tapping like. If you wear a bonnet to bed, keep tapping like. If I tell you to think of a food that starts with the letter Y, and the first thing you thought of was yams, I need you to tap like. You know what I'm saying? If uh, if you use coconut oil in your skin, hair, and food, tap like. I'm going to go to the next guest. Um, uh, actually, by all means, you wanted to say something, brother? I did real quick, brother. It's... it's um... It warms my heart to, to, to hear young brothers like that. Uh, I, I wasn't trying to interrupt him. I just wanted to give him his kudos while he was speaking. Um, you know, at the end of the day, uh, I I believe that I have lived the life that I have preached that we as black men live. And um, as a Christian, I find us to be extremely hypocritical. And what I mean is we have no problem quoting the scripture to each other about what we do wrong and the Lord, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh. Well, when we going to start taking something, mm. you know, at, so what the young brother was trying to say, and people were, a lot of people were dismissing him is, um, is, is real simple. If, if you walk into my home and they told us that this is our home. So if you walk into my home and you mean to cause me harm, I am provided by law to defend myself. And, at the end of the day, we do several things well, young brother. What's going to happen is we're going we're gonna to print some more T-shirts with her face on it. We're going to let some more balloons go. We're going to sing uh, Wade in the Water and some other Negro spirituals. And, and we're going to wait for Benjamin Crump tap dancing ass to go tapping out there, filing a lawsuit. And we're going to wait for Jesse Jackson to, we're going to wait for Brother Jackson to end up on MSNBC with Rachel Maddow going to, we're going to do the same thing. 
and we're going to say the same thing. Lord, I can't do it, Lord. Come on down. Well, listen. You've got, the, you've got one part. When we when the white teeth, when the no good devils want to come in and hold hands and go, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so oh, uh, you got one white teeth devil holding the radio, want to blast two for, I see no changes. All I see is racist faces. Yeah, you is right. We do see the racist faces. It's the blue eyed devil. Yeah, yeah. So, so we, we, we have a, as black men, I believe we have an opportunity uh, for all brothers that are like-minded and, and uh, believe in liberation. Uh, we have an opportunity uh, presented to us again by our creator and by the ancestors. Um, our community should be patrolled by us. Hmm. Our community of women should feel safe enough to call us. If there was an intruder breaking in, there should have been seven Negroes that she could have called to come over and make sure everything was okay. You see, we can't continue to complain about the oppressor and have his number on speed dial at the same time. Mm. We, 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 we don't even understand how much we participate in the very oppression in which we complain about. Mm. Right. Because there's always some financial benefit to it. So we turn uh, we turn uh, the other cheek and we act like we blind and deaf all of a sudden. But at the end of the day, this young sister, I don't give a damn. Listen, I said this earlier. I don't give a damn if she was about to throw Niagara Falls at this motherfucker. OK, to tell her I'm going to shoot you in the face and then come through doing it. Mm. That's how much that's how much he he devalued that black life. But again, I'm not going to be long winded. The reason, part of the reason, and this is my own opinion, part of the reason why white hetero males think it's okay to target and treat black women like this is because we do a piss poor job as black men of showing them what 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 we're not gonna tolerate. Mm -hmm. See, we don't, we ain't out here enough loving and protecting these sisters, so they don't feel that there's nothing to lose when they don't do it, right? Mm -hmm. Nothing at all. They they know there's no there ain't gonna be no large group of black men showing up at the police department raising hell. Mm. No, hell no. Cause football about to start. We got somebody to cheat on, and we got babies to pay child support for. We ain't got time to be at no damn courthouse uh, arguing and screaming. So they know there's no consequence, not only from the law, but there ain't no consequence from our community. Thank mm -hmm. you, brother. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Cause they'll they'll get together, let you do something to one of their own. They'll get together real quick. Let's go to the next guest. Um, Ija. Ija, give us your age, race, and pronouns, please. Yeah, my. All right. Um, man, that's that's new age. But uh, I'm a male. You can call me Your Royal Highness, uh, or any masculine. Uh, thing that you want. I mean, like that's so new age. I, it always confused me when people say that. Um, however, I hope I answered you. He, him, all those masculine things. All right, let's get to this policing. Let's get to this policing because let's look at the history of it. It was a buffer when the slaves left the plantations. The police force became a buffer between the two nations of people. And now they took this pronoun to serve and protect. This is a masculine. These are masculine attributes. And now let's move up to this modern day. You can see that they, I mean, like, and I'm not trying to blame black women. Let's just, I heard someone else say it. So I know it's out there in the consensus. They have traded this masculinity or this serve and protect. Instead of having it in their own life, like a husband, they have traded it for the world so now they can get all the riches in the world and now they're going to have this force who's going to come in and serve and protect but we can see if there was a male in that house or a husband they wouldn't even have entered the house hmm. they would have been out on the porch he would have told them gave them to see how keep stepping they wouldn't even have been in the house if there was a male there so and, and this is a beautiful time or example because we're in the climate of all this independent living and you know everybody wants to you know they could do what they well that's one aspect that people tend to be leaving off that serve and protect i mean can you protect yourself ma'am i get that you're independent but can you and i don't care of any age male even if it was a teenager there male 
He wouldn't have let him in the house. How you know that? How do I know that? Because brother, brother, that is just madness. What the, the offense didn't happen in the house. The offense happened outside the perimeter of the house. So it's so easy to what say we, what they would said he they have looked. Done? Hold on. Sir, you asked a question. Mm -hmm. They said they looked. Now I would have stepped out. She stepped out on the porch. She didn't invite them in. She stepped out on the porch. Now, what reasoning would they have to come in the house other because they were showing their authority in the situation? It sounds like you're trying to say that black women don't oh, yeah. got common sense. No, bro, 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 don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt yourself, bro. My mom is black. My sisters are black. Every woman, I mean, all my every woman in my life been black that I love. Bro, bro don't hurt yourself, bro. Don't, don't please mean nothing. I'm, it it sounds like daughter, you're trying to say that up, black women this, don't man. have common sense. All right, now watch this. Talking about if he my was a man at the door, brother. What you trying to say? She met them at the door. The tip, they hey, bro, let's see what you trying to say. She met them. I'm at trying the to door. figure out what you trying to say. Well, you, I'm just saying, yes, if he was a man brother, at the door, here's what he, wanted to, uh, he wanted to unlock it, bro. We don't want patriarchy over here, bro. We don't want that. Don't even try to force oh. it. If a man wanted to open that door, he wanted to let him in. Like you trying to say, the black woman don't got common sense? Bro, you, I, you, you, you're and you trying to say wrong. they want to cane him in if it was you're a man wired. in there. Hey, Think of all the uh, cases where post, brothers, post, they got unalived in their house by cops. But you're talking about they want to cane him in if a man was in there. Mm -hmm. no. What's they that brother that just me. got unalived in he his house? As soon as he opened the door, as soon as he opened the door, they they blast him down. Um, gotcha. Young brother, but that see, was in the military. We're not talking about that point of it. We're talking about think now, about that one brother who got who got unalived energy. in their house, house, and she was and she's talking. Oh, I thought it was a taser. Oh, bro, bro, you hurting yourself. Your wires. Are nah, so you hurt yourself because you don't know what you're talking Trust about, me, bro. Uh, deal with okay. this food because he's not right. literally making any sense and wasting everybody's fucking time. Hi, host. Thank you for your platform. Uh, this is horrible. Yeah. All right. Um. Yeah, we're gonna move on. I don't know what that was about, brothers. We do need to protect our sisters. We do need to protect our sisters. Unfortunately, in the system of injustice, sisters also, for some reason. We, well, we know what the reason is, but sisters also have to protect themselves, and that's a shame. They shouldn't have to. Black women deserve the most protection, but receive the least. And so that being the case, to say that if a black man, uh, if a black man is necessary for her to have the common sense, but it, it, the, the problem was not that, um, you know, it, was, it wasn't a common sense problem. Cops just shouldn't be shooting sisters in the face. <laughs> like, yeah, if, there like was a, if there was a man there, there probably would have been two bodies instead of one. Exactly. <laughs> when he said that, I'm like, what? Um, what, what you talking about? Yeah, that ain't make no sense. All right, we're going to go to the next guest, Evolving Seeds. Give us your age, race, and pronouns, please. I'm 41, black, uh, he, him. All right, talk to us. I just, um, because you're your prompt is accurate. I saw another prompt that says, what is the black community going to do about this? And it was mm -hmm. weird too, because the, yes, what is the, the, the individual that was just up, a lot of what they said in the beginning was exactly what we need. We need more people on the ground. We need more people uh, involved and less involved in the shenanigans that they've prepared for us. And, but you know, that segue was weird, but we mm -hmm. do like <clears throat> the dependence on this system. So when I look at the word good, the word good, implies one major word to me which mm. is conscience conscience is the application of your own cognitive abilities to a given action and to weigh whether that action can cause or will cause harm to another individual so when we look at what a precinct does or what the police department was what the system does at large it's not possible it is literally a, there's a, a doctor a white doctor who laid this out perfectly. If you are working for a system of tyranny and you wear a uniform, the word uniform means one form, like unicycle means one cycle, mm -hmm. one wheel. 
So if you are in uniform with tyranny, you are an agent of tyranny. It doesn't matter if you push paper. It doesn't matter if you're out there gung-ho trying to drop every melanated person or person of color you can for capitalism. It doesn't matter. You are equally culpable in the, the totality of the harm that it perpetuates. So there cannot be a good cop. The equivalent of a good cop is when somebody like looks at Fat Tony in the mob and, and Fat Tony love his mama, he love his auntie, he goes out and gives food to the homeless sometime, he even coaches baseball, you know, but, but Fat Tony be ordering the hits on dozens of dudes a day. Mm. Fat Tony is a good person to his people. He's not an mm -hmm. overall good person. <laughs> so right. this idea that the cop, like, and he's in the, the medic for that example, he's in the mafia. It's a certain structure. There are certain things you can expect to encounter. So the argument today was being made in another live about this incident that, um, you know, they, there are good cops and they join the police because of various reasons that are blah, blah, blah. And then they admitted that one of those major reasons is because it's an easy job. It doesn't take long to get the qualifications to be in it. And you literally are essentially above the law. So the question I posed was, if we can recognize that the police, like any other organism, evolves or de-evolves, but at least it changes, is it not safe to presume that people are joining, the, there's only really two types of people joining the police right now? Because one, sane, moral people who at least can read the room are not joining the police. So that's leaving who? People who are joining for money, which they don't have a moral compass to begin with because it's predicated on finances and their own comfort. And you got people who are actually blatant uh, psychopaths like this individual who, when you I don't even need to look at what happened after this fool pulled out his pew pew. The way he pulled it out was so eager. Mm. De escalation wasn't on the table. Why? Because she was black. Because I've seen these same incidents just play out where, uh, and we've all seen them, where a white person or a white T person, however you got to say it, calls the police. There was an individual, and I don't care what this man's belief systems is. I don't care if he's a flat racist. I love this man from the bottom of my heart. He had a pew pew on him, and he had a knife in his hand. I don't know if we can say knife. I, you know, maybe we cook or not. <laughs> but he had a, a knife in his hand, and the cop walked towards him with his pew pew, and the, or excuse me, he walked towards the cop with his, with his knife, and the cop just kept backing up, backing up. This went on for I've about seen 15, that. Right. I did this see went that. on for about 15 minutes until this the man who was uh, being trained on by the pew pew said, Oh, I'm not black enough for you to unalive me. And mm. I was like, Whoa, even in an intense moment like that, where that man's life really literally is on the line despite his skin color, he was lucid enough to point out the fact that he'd have been long gone if he was mm -hmm. literally any other skin color. So there are no good cops because the system, if you're a good cop, you quit. I know a couple of them, they're total anarchists now. They are off, they are people who uh, advocate for off grid sustainable communities like myself. But when they left, one of them is a black woman. She was a cop first. And she said that in the first six months of her being on the force, it was so bad, so racist, so sexist, so misogynistic, so supremacist that she left. And she thought it would be a little less intense by becoming a correctional officer. She was a correctional officer for about nine months. Now she plays the guitar and is very happy traveling in the world. <laughs> my point being, and I'm going to land my plane, is that there are no, and I will take it a step farther, there are no such things as good people who believe, because it is a faith-based belief that has no scientific evidence, in the authority vested in strangers, from politicians to police. If you believe that strangers who have different socioeconomic backgrounds, different socioeconomic current statuses, different tax brackets, different mm. values, different belief systems, have the cosmic inherent right to di to arbitrarily mean make up dictates to you even though you are quote equal under the law you belong to a religious quote and you are a bad person that's it mm. so if you serve that system you're the worst type of person and if you're black and you serve that system i literally get butterflies at how sick that those type of people make me and i land my plane nah bro just ate son. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yo, it's very rare, you know what I'm saying, when uh, somebody come on my panel get me thinking. Like, I done studied and studied and studied, but damn, uh, okay. did y'all hear that? Sense of, sense. Society as we know it is a cult. The only qualification it doesn't hit is the fact that it's massive in numbers. People usually think of cults as small things. Small, right. But no, as long as the word culture even literally has the root word of cult. So long as you're advocating or living a life and viewing it and, and perpetuating it to others as objectively true, I have a lot of respect for a lot of cultures. 
a lot of sustainable mm-hmm. cultures because their family, they believed that their family was in the tree. And it's not just specific to the Americas. They mm-hmm. believe that, and this, we know quantum physically, that's what this is. But they, yeah. they literally, most human beings that have been born on this planet take their way of life as the objective truth of the universe, which is kind of okay until you enforce it against other people against their will. And that's what this system is. And it's worst case scenario. Imagine being forced to live with, with in, sustainably with nature. Imagine being forced to live in a society where the quote unquote leader is affected equally by the decisions they make for your life as you. It would still be immoral because you didn't consent to it. So right. imagine this exploitative, unsustainable. I tell people all the time, your system is not great, has never been great and can never be great. And I don't care if it's China, Britain, Australia, Africa, America, if it doesn't have sustainability and consent as it's two main pillars. Mm. All right. Hey man, bro. Eight. I ain't going. I ain't going front. Sun just eight. Hey man, you don't got a bunny at home, do you? I'm sorry. You don't got a bunny at home, do you? Absolutely not. I literally don't do that. Um, okay. Those. Those. All things. right. All right. He he be one, y'all. I'll give it to him. You Thank you for saying? making sure you got that question in there, brother. Yeah, you got to find out. You know? <laughs> All right. Uh, what's good? Black Facts Matter. What's going on, family? You with us? Brother Timothy, he, he looked like he got a bad signal. I'm going to go to the next guest. Sam, Up, oh, you here? You here, brother? I'm here. All right. All right. Yeah, I'm going to go. I'm, gonna... I'm, I'm here, brother. My bad. Signal. Okay, yeah, your signal bad. Uh, Sam, give us your age, your race, and your pronouns, please. I am 44. Um, she, her, I guess is how that goes. It's your I language. Have, I'm just asking. What's your race? I, have, um, I am white. I have five children. Three of them are adopted black children. Two twin boys, one girl. One Free of my, my people twin from slavery. Boys. Huh? Nothing. I, that wasn't for you. Go ahead. Oh. Um, one of them happens to be a police officer. And I think the world of him, I think he's fair and a good person. But I have been treated most of my life badly because of people telling me those were not my children. They not. They're not. <laughs> I'm I'm over here dying, bro. Hey, man. <laughs> come on, man. Come on, man. We live in a country. We live in a country where institutional racism was the foundation of the country, and now you're gonna tell me in a system where white supremacy still influences the ten areas of people activity that a white woman can own a black child ethically through the system of adoption. That's why she said that her children, you know what I'm saying? She, they belong to you, right, Sam? I have raised them just like my two biological. I don't consider owning them at all. Mm. So did you teach them how to be black? I don't think that, 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 that we've had discussions about things I didn't have <laughs> you to heard discuss. That? I mean, she raised one of them to be a cop. What you think? You th- you think she mm. was she she ain't playing college Muhammad I didn't in the house? Raise him to do that. He chose that. So, so, so I'm sure I'm, that so, means so, she did so, your so, job. So, so, that means so, she did her job. So, y'all she had break. nights of BET. Is that what you said? <laughs> <laughs> I got a question though. So besides Martin Luther King and Malcolm X, what other black uh, heroes and freedom fighters have you taught your children about? And I ain't talking about inventors. I- I'm talking about like you know besides Harriet Tubman. And you know them. Can you like name someone else from the continent that you probably talked them about? Like, do you know who Patrice Lumumba is? Or do you know Thomas who the washcloth Smith? is? Do you use, do you use a washcloth? Yes, I do. Did you raise them to use one? How many times you bathe a week? How many times I bathe every day? Do you use soap <laughs> or do you just let the water run right down? I, I don't. So, I don't... I don't understand how this is turning racist against me. I, I don't. 
See, this is what I was saying about when I said she owned them children. Ma'am, are you a racist? Sam, Sam, let's be honest. Are you a racist? No, I don't believe I am at all. How do you know? I do think there are a lot of white people in this country who don't see color. Lord, that's the problem. And that's the problem. All right. I mean, Um, they're my children as much as the two biological children are. Do you have do you have pets? I don't pets? see them do you have any, any differently. Pets? Do you have any pets? Yes, I do. A lot of yeah. them. Okay. How many? How many? I have how many? four dogs and uh, nine horses. Why? What does that have four? to do with anything? Do you own those pets? They're like my children, so I wouldn't say I own them. They are my animals. Damn, you said that about the black kids. They like your children. I mean, are you sitting here telling me that your children? Uh, obviously. Obviously, you guys are just. Obviously, you just want to attack white people. So, I mean, that's kind of pointless. Do you let your dogs go on top of your bed? Do your dogs. Sleep in the if bed you don't sometimes. Want racism, don't breed it in your conversation. That's just. How can the victim, how can the victim be the victimizer? Explain. I mean, you're you you you're, the you're victim victimizing the yourselves, and, and that's vi- just insane. No, 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 no. Hold on, Sam. Hold on. Name one. Because you're sitting here group. saying that a Sam, white Sam, person. Sam, 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 Sam. I'm trying to be respectful. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. You haven't been this whole time. You just said your dogs get the same amount of love as your children, your (laughs) black owned children, the children that you own. I said, I don't consider owning my dogs as some form of property. I said, I love them like they're kids to me. There are a lot of people that think their animals are like children. And you also adopted black children. You're damn right I did. Yeah, I mean, your people kind of think of dogs. Those damn it. You said that you own those animals. And you said they're like my children. They are. They are like my kids. I love them to death. Hold on now, Brother Timothy. They might be more than just children to her now. You got think now. No God know who I don't even about. know where that goes. I mean if you don't if if you <laughs> want do. systemic racism to stop, then you have to stop this kind of crap. This is yeah, we, not okay. No, yeah. no. If if you want systemic racism to stop, then you need to stop. That kind of crap. I wanted to ask her if she let the dog sleep in the bed with her. That's the thing. The same white women that brothers run to go get with treat their animals like they, you know what I'm saying? Treat their men. Like, that's why, hey, that's why I said, hey, they, they, that's, I, they kind of more than children to her. Yo, that's crazy. She said the animals was like her children and she got black children. Yo. We just unlocked something there. Anyway, woo, y'all, y'all, hey man, shout out to white people that let it all hang out. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Stop, yeah, man. You know, let just just be yourself. Come on up here. And it's still it's still gonna be three Negroes trying to get in them DMs. <laughs> they DMing her right now. I'll right be your little now. puppy dog. Hey, look, 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 Hey, man, what they did to you wasn't right, man. That wasn't right, man. That, Yo, that was racist. Right. That was racist. <laughs> oh, my oh, my goodness. God. I know, right? That's crazy. Hey, man. All right. So, so, so tell me I almost you lost my dog. mind there. That was wild. I, like, damn. I mean, we know it. We already know it. It's just when they don't know what the hell we're trying to get them to admit to, and then they just admit it. That's wild. Anyway, anyone that's anyone that's black and conscious knows what the hell just happened on this live. I, I see a lot of uh, snowflakes down there flurrying. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all mayonnaise folks don't know what we what just we we just witness. Y'all y'all not y'all not privy to it, but it's all right. It's all right. Hey brother, listen. When I told her, nah, they kind of more than children than you. I don't know where they're going with that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I was going. Hey man, some of y'all will let your dog bite your sandwich and then just bite right behind. Them. I, I seen it. I seen it on TikTok. Y'all will share a bowl of milk. 
All right, um, Maddie, give us your age, race, and pronouns, please. Hi, um, I am 58, natural born woman, and I'm black. Um, right. I just wanted to touch on a few things. Um, you know, apparently with the uh, the shooting of Son please Sonic. say pew pewing or some oh, sort sorry. of innuendo I, on TikTok. I apologize. Uh huh. With the incident that occurred with um Ms. sister Lucy. sonia yeah it's, yeah it's it's very unfortunate and i will tell you um i don't suffer from mental illness to that degree but i do have depression and anxiety we so all when i first bought my house um of course it's a new environment so i would hear a lot of creepy sounds so i did call up the police and for them to you know i told them listen i'm hearing things you know, luckily for me, the officers that came were very nice I really and, uh, and like same skin color. So um, he was very, very polite. He was courteous and he was compassionate because he, he understood that I was scared. And he said, ma'am, I'm telling you right now, I, search, I searched the perimeter. He said, there's, there's just the twigs that you're hearing and crickets and stuff. So now let me move forward to an incident that my son had with a young lady. She, um, they had an incident at a, a, a store like a mile and a half away from my house. She called the cops and sent them to my house. And that if the incident occurred at the store, it should, the cops should have called, been called at the store. You don't wait to get back to my house and then call the cops and send them to my house. Now, in that instance, I was really, really scared. Like, I was really scared because my house was like, they, it was multiple police. And, you know, I didn't answer the door, but I could, they was out there for a very long time with flashlights and constantly knocking on the door and all that type of stuff. So I was scared. You know what I'm saying? And it's unfortunate that, you know, in this day and time that we can't call on, the, you know, the police <laughs> for certain things and end up in a really bad situation, okay. you know? And then mm -hmm. I wanted to say that I understood what the guy was saying. I can't remember his name when he was saying that there aren't any men in the house. I don't think that he was trying to take anything away from women, but I, but I, the conclusion I came to was that you got to go back to back in like when welfare, when women were having boyfriends and husbands, and to get welfare they they couldn't have men in a home. Right. So it, it start. I I can't speak about slavery because I don't know enough about slavery to to you know like I my know. parents didn't teach me about that. I know about that. I'm sorry. I said I know about that. Go ahead, talk about it. So you know. When we when we sit up here and we allow the husbands and the fathers and the male figures out the house home to get the welfare, that started. That was a, of course, it was designed and it became a trend and a cycle. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it still continue because of the government programs that we have. You know. So when he said that if it was a man in the house, it may have been different. Doesn't mean that it would have been a negative outcome. Because you got to think about it. She came outside. There was no reason for them to go in her home and ask her for ID. To me, that was unnecessary. You understand what, what I'm saying? What, what, what would a man in what would a man in that position have done? I don't. I'm not saying what he would mm -hmm. have done. See, it's not now. What if he it was a man in the house, I could see her not done. needing to call the police because my wife don't need to call. I am the police to my whole family. I'm the police. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm a Second Amendment police officer for right. my people. Even if they're not my family. If, mm -hmm. if, you know, I'm in Texas. So, you know, I got that, you know what I'm saying? At right. any moment. So if I see anything going on around me, I'm, I'm liable to, you know, get active. But mm -hmm. um, at the same time, yeah, you know, wow. in, in that scenario, I could, I could see that. But black men are only men till the man can show up. You know what I'm saying? When the mm -hmm. man show up, we we give yeah. him the power because the power is taken from us, right? You know, and that's why you can't like when the guy was talking about how you know if it was a man there, 
I understand what you're saying. Like you are the, you know, you are in the captain of your household. So it mm-hmm. wouldn't have been no such thing as calling the police. But let's just know. say, hypothetically speaking, it's not so much what the man would have done. Is the, the the police officers probably would have responded differently. You, you, you lied to me. You understand what I'm you saying? Me. Because they, me personally speaking, there was no you reason for them that? to go inside her household. Yeah, but no, my is. issue with what he was saying was when he started saying, you know, talking about the independent black woman trope and strong black women and trying to say that because black women have that mindset that that's the reason there were no men in the home. You know, um, that, that, that was, it wasn't what he said. It was his angle at, at how he was coming at it. Wrong. He came at it wrong. Well, I mean, on a, if you really think about it, we do have a lot of women running around talking about they independent. It, the difference between they take independent out of context. You understand what I'm saying? You could be self-sufficient. You understand what I'm saying? It's nothing wrong with <clears throat> depending on a, a mate. There's nothing wrong with that. I would say you, black women are not independent. I would say, you know, those black women that feel the need to um create a separation between black men and black women suffer from self-hatred some sort of right. resentment towards a black man and maybe did them harm in their life you know what i'm saying because there ain't gonna be no independent liberation for black women exactly and black men are still oppressed that's and vice versa they take it out of context you you are self-sufficient there's nothing wrong with being self-sufficient it doesn't take away you taking care of yourself, providing for yourself, doing for yourself financially and all that thing. But when mm. you sit up here and say that you're independent, that means you don't rely on no one for nothing. Mm. And it's unfortunate that there are some women that have that mentality. Oh, I don't need a man for anything. Wrong. You do. But we can't put that on Sonya. You know what I'm saying? I, no, I didn't see her say that. that. By no, by, by no yeah. means. I'm speaking in general. By no means, because at the end of the day, Clearly, and at, even after hearing her parents think, and family members speak, she had mental illness. You understand what I'm saying? And I think is that, she had is that something of, that's been verified, or is that what we speculate? The family members, the daughter said that she was schizophrenic. The daughter said that in a press conference. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? And 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 because if you if you listen to when they had asked her about the car, she said that that wasn't her car. And then the office, one of the officers, not the officer that went inside, the one of the officers went back and ran the plate. Mm. The one that went inside with the, you know, the, the you know, the, the tool or whatever. If you notice when he opened her door, right? You see how he opened the screen door and mm. he put the um, lock on it to keep the screen door open. Mm. When he went inside that woman's house, he closed that screen door. What was the purpose of him closing that screen door? There was no purpose for that screen door to be closed. Mm. There was no, he closed the screen door and he closed her front door. What was the purpose of that? And he waited he knew until he after was his going partner in walked deal. away. He waited till after his partner walked away. You mm. understand what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I'm by no means am I putting this on her at all. At all. She was in, she, I think her mental illness and, and and you can i'm not going to even sit up here and say her mental illness because at the end of the day they need more training they really need more training they, when they see get, now, at the, right the onus does fall on the police system however we understand that you know we live in a system of injustice right and in that system of injustice we got to protect the queens we got to protect our sisters and um black men haven't done good enough of a job at doing that and um i think um like like the other brother uh by all means was saying um as soon as anything like that happens she should have had seven brothers she could call to come and handle stuff right um you know every black man needs to kind of adopt that mindset that's what i was talking about earlier when i said i'm the i'm the police you know i got i got six sisters biologically and then and i've got you know um other sisters that you know not biological but we we got a connection through uh, uh our ancestors where you know they know you know if they they in trouble something going on call me before you call the cops right <laughs> you know, you, you know and every be, brother should be like that 
it would be great if we had more men like you. It really would. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, we, we just don't have the unity. We just don't, you know? And it's mm -hmm. unfortunate. But um, I, I do I do appreciate you allowing me to speak on your platform. And um, I wish everybody well. All right. All right. Ashe. Appreciate Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to go to the next guest. Kyle, give us your age, racing pronouns. Kyle Tur Williger. Who else want to come up here? We got some sisters. Sisters, come on, send a request. <laughs> we got sisters, send a request. Sisters, I want to hear from the women. I don't believe. Can you hear me? Uh, uh, just a moment, little Haiti. We're going to come to you in a moment. Yeah, we hear you, Kyle. Talk to us. Give us your age, race, and pronouns. I'm white. I'm 32. I don't feel it's right. I think it is wrong by the police. And to be honest, I mean, anybody who's trained to shoot on the matter is a bunch of bullshit. I mean, for somebody who has no threat and everything, that that's a crock of shit. I mean, it, it doesn't matter what race or age or anything you come from. I mean, gun control used to be in schools way back in the day. You don't know how to talk up here. Lil Haiti, give us your age, race, and pronouns, please. Ew. My race is black. My age is 24. And my pronouns are she, her. All right, talk to us. I do not think good cops exist, personally. I think that there's good people that want to be cops and they go into the job wanting to do good things. But I just think that the job itself is a negative job and whether or not your mindset is good or bad going into it, you can't be a good cop. You could be a good person that wants to be a cop, but you can't be a good cop. Your coworkers are gonna do shitty things and it's not even a, like a matter of whether or not you wanna report them or not. Like it's a gang, like they're gonna bully you. They're not gonna show up when you need backup. If you try to snitch on them, it's a gang. Like you can't be a good cop. And I just know this because my uncle is a detective and he tells me mad stories about his inner city police department and they are fucked up. Mm. They sure are. They sure are. I've heard a few stories myself sitting in my barber's chair um, back when I used to have a haircut. Um, yeah, they were, they were sharing videos in the police department of them uh, beating on homeless black men. And uh, they were sharing it at the Thanksgiving table <laughs> in New Jersey. The up north where they where they say it's less racist, right? I'm in Connecticut, so. <laughs> oh, 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 woo, Connecticut. Mm -hmm. Listen, we in Jersey know not to even drive through Connecticut. Nah, mm -hmm. man. <laughs> yeah, shoot. All right. Well, I uh, appreciate you for sharing that with us, sister. I think you be one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Uh, big time. What's going on? Give us your age, race, and pronouns. Big time on the road. Age, race, and pronouns. Can you hear me, sir? Yes, we hear you. Give us your age, race, and pronouns. Uh, okay, I don't know what the pronouns is. This is my first time doing it, but my name is Martha, and I'll be 58 in September. All right, talk to us. Oh, uh, your race, race, race. Race, I'm black. Always, people always skip the race. I'm All right, black. go ahead. All right, talk to us, sister. Well, I, I witnessed, I saw the, the video of Miss Macy uh, and what happened to her. And unfortunately, I think it's very terrible. Um, uh, African-American women, I know a lot of us that live alone, that, that may not have a male available like in the home. We're scared. We, mm. We're scared. And who do we call on when we're scared? I think uh, not all police officers, but a lot of them, they're bullies. They're just bullies. And I found out that the requirement for a police officer is a high school diploma. So why would you send somebody in there with a low intelligence, with a mm -hmm. gun, to help a woman out with a mental issue? Whether mm -hmm. she had a mental issue or not, 
In that video, I never saw her raise her voice. I never saw her jar her body in any type of way as if she wanted to attack him. And she only got up off the couch to go and turn off the stove. She forgot, but he saw it. And she only went and turned it off because he reminded her. Right. And I think he should get life for that. And I think every police officer out there should get life. One of the things that's missing in our society today is moral, morals. And everybody don't want to hold up, be accountable for what they do. And they, and they spurring out dumb stuff and it's coming all the way from the top and it's lingering all the way down to, 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 to officials in Congress, all the way down to the police officers, all the way down to, to the citizens thinking that it's okay to do what they do. So mm -hmm. now when I'm in an issue and I'm in a situation where I need to call on somebody or a police officer, I'm, I'm going to be reluctant to call that police officer because of what happened. Mm. Yeah, he need life until the day he die, which should I'm be about to say he need he need to he see need life until he dies in about two weeks. Yeah, he need to see Lucifer for that. Most most definitely, most definitely, he's a devil. She never did anything that showed that she was aggression and the distance between the two of them. And you a big man and she a small woman. Yeah, he needs life. Yo, man. Well, so my condolences goes out to Miss Macy and her family. I'm sorry that it happened. My heart is breaking. I've been here 58 years and I've never seen it be as worse as, as it is. Uh, thanks to TikTok, uh, because we are getting more information about how things are bad for African Americans across the board. It's given us more insight on how they really truly feel about us. So when we walk around here and they think like, well, oh, you just tripping. No, I'm not tripping. I feel the energy when I go into the store, when I go to the doctor, you know what I'm saying? Um, mm -hmm. um, having, having mental issues where you want to reach out to a therapist or a counselor, but the only option you have is another white person. Mm. Excuse mm -hmm. my language. A no, you person, right. and, and you don't want to trust them with the innermost part of you. Mm -hmm. So, so what do we do with that? You can't expect people that don't treat you right to teach you right. And when it comes to exactly. uh, when it comes to mental health, they're going to teach you um, based on what the Europeans what them Europeans think is mentally healthy and look at look at this yes. look at the status of their community look at the look at the um, trauma that they've caused onto other people you want to be like that you you want these are the people that's going to teach us mental health you know exactly. look at what they're okay with you know yes 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 yeah. so I don't want to take up so much of your time um mm -hmm. thank you allow me to be on here this was my first time doing it and i re uh, appreciate you guys pushing out the information i'll say sister thank you for coming up have a good one all right all right big up to all the sisters coming up here sharing a story you know to giving us giving us some uh insight into the world that they live in sisters this live is for you share the share the live with some of your brothers and sisters let's get let's get on the right algorithm big foreheads and bonnets we love you absolutely we're going to the next guest uh og402 give us your age race and pronouns og402 don't forget to keep tapping like Oh yeah, there's a lot of big forehead appreciation. We love that. Okay, um, here, can you? Yeah, talk to us. Oh, age, race, and pronouns. All right, I'm I'm 32, black, and what you mean by pronouns, brother? Uh, he, she, or they? Choose one. Huh? He, she, or they? Choose one. What What, what you mean by that, bro? I'm sorry. Okay, you got three choices. He, yes or no, the he. Do you want to be called he? Yeah. Yeah. All right, talk yeah. to us. Yeah, black black man. Uh, first off, uh, 
I don't believe uh, any good cops exist. I mean, it may be a good cop if it's a, you know, uh, you know, one of us. Mm-hmm. He may be good. And it's a lot of people, you know, that's our same skin color. That's cops. That's that's not right. You know what I mean? But I just feel like, like you know. If, if you really look back at the history, cops wasn't created or like the jurisdiction uh, system with like cops, the court system and and, and jail system wasn't created till the slaves was free. You see what I'm saying? So really, th- this this is my own uh, personal opinion. I feel cops, the court system and the jail system is the new form of slavery. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, we see what you're saying. So it's like, I feel that dude here in the picture, I feel like he, he was already possessed. He was already possessed by a, 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 a evil entity because as soon as she, as soon as he said what she said, you seen it come out of him, you know? But yeah, I, I, I just feel it ain't no, it ain't no good cops out here. Like you know, it may be a very few, but it's it's no good cops out here because it's all part of the new system. The the cops, the jail, even if you look at all the prisons around the United States of America, it's it's, it's more black tees and it's more Hispanic, you know, Hispanics in there than any other race. I I gotta disagree with you, bro. There there are good cops, man, and they I just they they're just really good when they decide to finally lay in a casket. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Very, yeah, yeah, it's very few. Don't get me wrong, like you know, like, no, nah, you ain't catch his drift. He said they good when they they good when they six feet beneath us. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I don't even, I just feel like that he he was wrong for that because you know, you, you like you seen it come out of him as soon as she said what she said, you seen it come out of him and. Like, it's, it's just messed up, bro. You see what I'm saying? Because, like, I, me, I would have been, I, I'd have been on something else in that in that situation if that's my mother. You know? I'm on something else right now, I'll be honest. <laughs> How many times are we going to say a few bad apples before yeah. we stop buying apples as black people? Yeah, regardless mm-hmm. of what. Regardless of what, bro. I'm on the same thing. I'm on the same thing because I know how the system is. You see what I'm saying? Well, I can just give y'all another story. You know, I always got stories. This, talk to us, uh, Auntie. Hmm? Go ahead, talk to us, Auntie. Um, I was going to say, I knew a guy, <clears throat> a white guy that stopped being a cop <clears throat> because they would do stuff like, oh, look at that N-word over there. He got a 20-hour hat on. And what they do, you know, they can hold you for 20 hours. Regardless, so you don't have to have done nothing. They could do that. He got so tired of seeing that stuff. Um, you know, then they set him up um, where his his partner left him and he almost got unalive. So they all know, like I told y'all a story of from the film back in the 70s, Frank Serpico, same thing. He got uh, pew pewed in the face. And he's in the witness protection program till today. So the so-called few good ones, uh, they can't be. And if they stay in there, then they complicit because they know what they see and they know what's going on. And it is what it is. Ain't no way you can stay a good person and stay being a cop, period. Because you see the stuff that the other, the race soldiers do. Okay, so it is what it is. You a part of it. All these brothers and ancestors that think they are part of the Blue Klux Klan, well, you're not. They'll set you up. Shoot, look how many stories we've seen uh, of brothers being arrested or pew pew by the police when they was policed themselves. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, uh, it, 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 this shit can't keep going on. It just is. It's just, we've got to decide that it's going to end, and that's when it will end. Period. And you see, this dude had what? Now they're saying the tattoo. Well, out here in L.A., they had a gang within the police. You know, that was tatted up too. 
with their stuff. You know, it is what it is. But like I said, it's consequences and repercussions. That's what's got to happen. That's it. When he get locked yes, up the day he step his foot in that damn door, he need to be dealt with. Period. Absolutely. Most definitely, I, I totally agree with you 100%. Uh, now, uh, what, what I mean by it may be some good ones out there is I'm speaking to like you know, like the same skin color. Like it may be some good ones out there, but at the end of the day, I don't trust none of them. You see what I'm saying? All the Shit, man. The black, the, the Negroes are the worst. Hey, mm-hmm. I know. Cause I was pepper sprayed. I, I was I was pepper sprayed by a brother, and he wasn't even a real cop. He was a uh, uh, he was a repo. He was like a like a fake cop at a at a ga- at a uh, gas station, you know. But I'm I'm like, hey, he he was wrong, regardless of what. You see what I'm saying? And like when you look at the history, bro, like the court system, the police system, the 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 the, the jail system is just a new form of slavery because they didn't really create the 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 whole foundation of 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 cops in the jurisdiction uh system until after they freed the slaves, you did? Yeah, well so I, we I too busy worried about what Kendrick and Drake got going on. No, I ain't worried about that. I'm worried about the truth, cause you know that. Like, I'm talking about. Like, I'm, I'm not talking about you, young brother. I'm talking about the community. We always mm-hmm. the, the 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 reason. I, I'm gonna tell you what the truth is here, right? Most of us don't even know Brianna Taylor's name until the last two days. Mm-hmm. We stopped saying her name about two years ago. Remember, mm-hmm. it was say her name, say her name, Brianna Taylor. Man, we stopped saying that shit the moment Love and Hip Hop came back. Because mm-hmm. we the most easily distracted race of people in the history of this planet. It don't take much but to dangle some jewelry, a couple of rappers, and some episodes on BET to get our ass distracted again. Because mm-hmm. we're going to be mad. We're going we gonna to demand justice. And like I said, we're going to come together and sing We Shall Overcome one day. Deep in my heart, I will believe that we sh- shut your ass up. Listen, at the end of the day, if we don't do what they do to us, we might as well go on and stop praying about it. If I see right. black folk in church on Sunday praying to Jesus that something changed, slap the shit out. I hope Jesus come and slap your ass. He would. Faith without works is dead. If my name. That, that's if my point. Name. Faith without works is dead. And we never remember Those that. Sisters, part. if I may, get yes. a word in. All right, uh, yeah, let's go to the next guest. Uh, give us your age, race, and pronouns. Yeah, um, I'm a he. I'm a masculine man. Race. And race is um, indigenous, native. All right, and your pronouns? Um, man, he. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm into age, my bad. Um, over, over 18. 40. For right, talk to us. Um, um, as you can imagine, as a indigenous Mexican who has um ties with indigenous Native Americans up north, this is this is this is fucking devastating, man. We're dealing with the same disease, ladies and gentlemen. If you're in, if you're um, black, with all due respect, Negro, I don't mean to disrespect. If you're a Native American, indigenous, Hispanic, we have the same problem for the last 500 years. So this lady getting shot in the face, I kind of knew she was, I don't know if you guys know if she's mentally ill or something, because she looked like she was struggling a little, you know. Um, I kind of looked around on the video, I studied it, you know, um, I looked at the at the bed. She had a lot of clothes that she had in, you know, tend to. I didn't see the kids around. I don't know if they were with the father or anything, but none of what he did was justifiable, and nothing that he could do could, um, you know, be be brought to just. So my 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 suggestion is just grab them, take them right in front, and have a a sharpshooter just shoot him, or have someone like me that is very adequate. Oh, uh, you gotta use. No, nah, we can't. Talk, nah, we can't even talk like that, bro. We can't talk like that up here. We ain't. Hey, um, Halak, we ain't. We ain't. We ain't mad, but you can't talk like that. You can't talk like that on TikTok. Um, can't even do that. F one. You know, TikTok is a digital plantation. We can't. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got some Bob sisters. says, we sick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Mm-hmm. All right, we got some. Yeah, y'all, let's get the 50K likes. Tap like, tap like. Tap like, tap like. We need to get the 50K likes. Share the live. We, nah, we ain't mad at you. We ain't mad at you, um, Lionheart. We ain't mad at you. We, we, we not mad at you. It's just we can't talk like that. Um, they will take my whole platform away from me. So we can't have you up. But it's cool. We ain't mad at say- you. I mean, you did say we go through the same thing. But, you know, it's it's we, we, we have a shared oppressor in certain aspects. Uh, I'm going I'm to bring some more sisters up here to talk to us. Sisters, this live is for you. This live is for you. We're doing a wellness check. Adrian, I, go ahead. Give us your age, race, and pronouns, please. I am 62 years old. I'm black and she. All right. Talk to us. I am an ordained minister, and I was also married to a city policeman. And I just wanted to um, give y'all my viewpoint of what happened, um, that what happened to Sonia. Uh, I want to take you back to when she rebuked him in the name of Jesus. He told her to go get that pot. And then he pretends he's going to get scared. He walks away. When she said, I rebuke in the name of Jesus, she said it twice. And he said, he said, no, Mm. you're not. I'll shoot you in that effing face. Okay. Right there, when you look at it spiritually, um, this was a demon in that man. And he protected his demon. It wasn't the demon that did it. It was him. So, you're probably going to have to get some background on him. He's probably in some type of society that have, um, that actually have uh, wanted to be possessed by a demon so that he can gain in the world. So, Sister, he protected... Mm-hmm. Sister, the society is white supremacy. Okay. I, I, I didn't want to say all of that because, you know, TikTok. I knew y'all knew what I was talking about. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, so that's what he does. And um, so that people are like, well, you know, I'm just trying to show the spiritual side of it. And then as a policeman, my ex-husband was a pastor and he became a policeman. And um, it corrupted him completely. The man ain't, he's not even recognized anymore. I couldn't even, but after the, after we divorced, I couldn't even recognize him anymore. So when y'all was saying there's no good policemen, I'm with you on that. That's what I wanted to share. I'll land my plane. All right. We heard that. Appreciate you, sister. All right, sister, send up the request. Sisters can send up the requests. We want to invite the sisters to come up and talk about it. There's a lot to talk about. Uh, Mello, give us your age, race, and pronouns. Nope, she ran. Y'all be waiting in these requests for a minute just to run away. Everstar, give us your age, race, and pronouns. Um, I am 28, white, and she, her. All right, talk to us. Um, I don't think good cops exist because I think at the very least you're complicit. Killed by a cop? Okay, I'm sorry. All right, so yeah, you said you don't believe they exist. Because they're complicit? Go ahead. Yeah, no. Um, do you mind? 
What do you call a white uncle? Why do you? What do you call a white uncle Tom? I don't know. All right, talk to us. Sorry, uh, there was just also a black four-year-old who was uh, shot by police in Macomb. I think I heard that he was her cousin. I don't know if that part's true. I didn't fact check it. But um, while his mom was getting assaulted by her boyfriend, they pointed the gun at her, which allowed the boyfriend to go grab the son, and then they shot through him and killed her. Uh, all right, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. So yeah that's, y'all got to be TikTok friendly, please. Oh, pew, I'm pew. Sorry. You know, try, try, try not to say S-H-O-T so much. Got it. Sorry. But yeah, I just wanted to bring some awareness to that as well, because I feel like this story that that one's also not getting a lot of uh, awareness. All right. So, so um, what brought F1, you to this? Reali- what brought you to this realization? Um, just seeing that story come up, and then this happened pretty immediately after, and so I'm not seeing on social media as much that boy's story. Um, getting spread. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. and the cop and the cop they is getting no consequences for that. Mm-hmm. So what are you gonna do about it? Um, I'm just trying to share it with as many people as I can. And, you know, go to the appropriate protests in the area that I'm in. Are you sharing it here? That's what I was trying to do. Um, I just figured, you know, there's 225 people in here that that's some years on it. But you're sharing it with us? Yeah. In case, just in case anyone didn't know about that. Do you share it with your people? Of course. And how do they react? Um, you know, I have <laughs> the people that don't and I still tell them anyways. And then I have most of my friends they all react with sharing it as well and you know doing what they can do i live in seattle so i'm fortunate to be around some con- some liberal people liberal people liberal people people who stand up for people of color and just people with the same mindset how do they stand up protesting sharing on social media just listening to other people's voices um but you know i'm trying harder every day Mm. anyways i'm making a fool of myself up here so i'm gonna go but um i just did want to share the story of terrell miller because um yeah there's no consequences you, you, you think you need to share it with us i just wanted to share it with anyone who didn't know Hmm. Are you a racist? No, but I don't think I get to decide that. Why not? Because it's not about my perception whether I'm racist or not. Why not? Because I don't get to dictate how people view my actions. Hmm. That, that if if I do something to you that is perceived as racist, then I believe that that is you that gets to give me that distinction and something that I don't get to decide for myself. Do you believe that you are the enemy of black people? I think I try not to be in everything that I do, but again, I don't think that I get to decide that. Mm. My kid's screaming, so I gotta go. And no, well, again, I see the, yeah, I see the chat. No, I would say from my perspective, I'm not racist. So anyways, my kid's calling me. Have a good day, everyone. Yeah, she racist. All right, we're going to go to the next guest. We're going to bring people up here. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how white people pretend they understand racism, but for some reason, they know themselves are not to be racist. Like, if you know that you are still benefiting from a construct that gives you privilege, how do you say 
you're not racist. Mayhem, give us your age, race, and pronouns. Okay, I'm 28, I'm white, and I live in Texas. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. So, basically, the thing with this whole situation, it is devastating. And bottom line, I think it's demonic. Um, I'm a Christian myself, and the way that she called on the You're name of Christian. Jesus. Yes, I am. How are you a Christian? I go to church every Sunday. I'm getting baptized this Friday. I'm a Christian. Oh, so that's it. Um, oh, so just getting baptized makes you a Christian? Do you need to follow God's law? Why are you arguing me? Just because I said I'm white? Who said I was arguing? I thought I asked the question. Um, as soon as I said I was Christian, you, you were like, how are you Christian? It has nothing to do with me being baptized. I'm in the Word of God every week. I go to Bible study. I'm in... The word, like that's what makes you did Jesus Christian. Did Jesus just um, study and get no? That has nothing and... to do with what I'm trying to argue here. I'm trying to argue that Sonia Massey called on the name of Jesus and it enraged that man. I don't feel like it tonight. I don't feel like it. All you um, buck dancing, hunting bunnies. Need to go and try to find you uh, a black man somewhere else. I know you here to hunt. They hunting. This this brother's in her DM right now. Go ahead and find her. Go ahead and find her. She here looking for you. You know what I'm saying? Them brothers, they got the hairlines that look like a map of Florida. Yeah, she looking for you. She looking for you. Yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah, you in her DMs. Yes, you. You love white women. Yeah. Yeah, Becky looking for y'all. She coming up here to make herself look look real appealing to y'all. Mm-hmm, yeah. All right, we're going to go to the next guest. Um, Let me get some melanin on the panel right now, man. Please, please. Uh, just gaming. Give us your age, race, and pronouns. That's good. Um, I'm 25 years old. I'm black. My pronouns are she, her, or her, she, however you want to, you know. All right, all right. Shout out to shout out to black women, man. I just, I just needed I needed to have a sister up here real quick. I'm tired of anti racist Barbie coming up here, <laughs> man. Go ahead, and talk to a sister. I'm not even about that. Did I? I didn't even realize I requested. What y'all got oh, going we're, on? Yeah. Uh, yeah. We, well, we talking about Sonya Massey and do mm -hmm. good cops exist? Do good cops exist? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I think good cops do exist. I think. All right, that ain't the kind of system I'm looking for. What's good? Life is a beach. What's good, sister? Hey, brother. Hey, everybody. All my brothers and sisters in this room, all my black brothers and sisters, y'all are beautiful. We're in mourning right now for Sister Massey. My you sure heart, are. My heart hurts. And you know what I want to know? How they have the gall to have their demon asses in here bothering us, even mm. talking to us. Don't talk to us. What what is your motivation for having your ass in this room? Mm. Won't even leave us alone. We trying to mourn in peace. What the hell you think you gonna be able to say to us to make us feel better or to make us understand? We don't need your understanding. We don't care. Bring your ass on. Mm -hmm. We don't want to talk to you. We don't want to see you. We don't want you go to hell away and you know what that's the one thing about them they feel like they can infringe their ass on us when we don't want to be bothered with their ass they got the gall to roll their ass in this room and all in the chat gonna bring their raggedy ass up on if i was a yt woman i wouldn't come nowhere over here mm -hmm. i would I, what ain't no way I would steer clear. Yeah. But let's get back to Sister Massey. We gonna, you know, I hope, I hope they get taken care of with them, them Hitler 
tattoos on their body. Yeah. That's my thing. How I know they see whatever uh, they have on their body. I know they take inventory of what they have, they tattoos and stuff. How the hell they bring their ass and got to be a police officer? Mm. But one thing I did really want to come up here and say, you know, if you know your history and you understand how slavery works, let me tell you something about them. We're going to really talk about them. They so raggedy and they number criminals and they lazy and they don't even, they're uneducated. They, they don't have nothing good about them want to come steal us from our land because they too goddamn lazy to work. Mm. They don't know how to grow nothing. They don't know how to do nothing. They don't even know how to put shit together. So they're going to come steal us for us to do it. Then when it came down to them letting us go, then they want to make up some bullshit ass independence and rules and declarations and bullshit. And it's just the same shit. They number criminals. All they do is move the goal, goal, po goal post. And then what they do, they make up these bullshit ass rules, which is still slavery within itself. Mm -hmm. You know, all it does, it just have a different lens, but they still operating the same. And just like Brother Shock and all the other brothers that were up here, we got to take it. We got to take what we want. We sitting here whining and crying and meeting and this and that. We got to take what we want. Let me tell you what I wish would have happened. I wish we wouldn't have never integrated. That's number one. I also wish that over the years, I was born in 1970. I, I wish over the years that we would have set something up where we, can mi we could have been migrating back to Africa through the years. Imagine if back in the 50s or 60s, we set something up, you know, like have families. If you want to migrate, we'll have money. We'll have a plan set up, you know, and within so many years, we add, we go to black families and say, do you want to migrate back? Imagine how many people could have migrated back. Mm -hmm. We got to do something. We got to. And that's all I wanted to say, brother. But I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie. My heart is hurting. Mm -hmm. And then it hurts even worse seeing these demons up in here. Ooh, I don't want to cuss. Messing with us. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But thank you for letting me speak. I say, appreciate it. <laughs> that's facts. That's facts. Auntie always spitting. Listen, I'm telling you, um, y'all ain't got no business on this live. Not up here. Y'all need absolutely. To, yeah, y'all supposed to be somewhere else. Y'all supposed to be with your people, so checking them. Go fight the power over there. Mm -hmm. We're trying to get you an eggplant. That's what I always say. <laughs> <laughs> That's mm -hmm. what you want to twirl around on. So you know, you know, do your work where you, where it's needed with your own folks. And like you said, they all blue eyed devils, if you ask me. So. um you know, and, and, and see how we go on tangents. Oh, ooh, is it going to be the... Uh, no, all of them act like that. Not just the po-po. Mm -hmm. There's a whole bunch of walking two-leg demons. So, mm -hmm. you know, quit trying to... You know, I, I, I just get so tired of us always trying Appreciate to water down something or go off on a tangent. What What's the same? What, and, and don't get me wrong. But my sister Sonia, uh, Brianna, Sandra, you know what I mean? And I told you about that. I think her name was Evelyn Bumpers uh, Legend. The one I told you about back in the 80s when I was in college, the grandmother that mm. got pew pewed mm -hmm. in her apartment mm -hmm. in New York. I need to go get, get some more history. But that's been 40 years ago. Okay? So mm. people, please stop acting like it's brand new. <laughs> and just in the last few years, come on now, they unalived a grandmother in her apartment in New York. Mm. And that was 40 years ago. I told you one of the first marches I did in college, they took a, 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 a snipe stick and broke a brother's larynx and he actually drowned on his own blood. Mm. Okay, that's when I was, that's the first time I had a SWAT team on me, that was 40 years ago. Come on now. 
you know, mm. stay focused. Ain't nothing new about mm. none of this. And they've been devils then and they devils now. So let's not try to make this a religious thing and, you know, no offense, but come on. It wasn't because she said that and ooh, the devil jumped. If she hadn't said a word, the same thing would have happened. You know, yes, come on. Mm -hmm. Stay like, focused. Like, I'm, I'm telling y'all, this whole I rebuke you in the name of Jesus thing, it didn't stop a single thing. It didn't. And the crazy part is, is that people still coming up here thinking that, oh, if I just flip open a couple scriptures and just really double down on the prayer, then maybe that'll wish it all away. <laughs> no, it is not going to wish them away. You can clearly see that she was in the heat of the moment saying that and still bullets came flying. Mm -hmm. She knew they were. That's why she said it. She's seen it. That's exactly spirit, why she, she knew. Hmm. She knew. I believe they all the same because they, cause they was programmed that way. What did you say? I said, I believe they all the same because they was programmed that way by the ancestors. By the ancestors? Yeah, all the, all the, I'm talking about all the white teeth folks. They all the same because they was programmed that way by people, by they parents and grandparents before them well say the clan ancestors they ain't ancestors <laughs> no, I said by, by, by people. No, uh, they don't get me wrong <laughs> when i say ancestors i'm talking about us and our peeps mm -hmm. that over yeah. there that's yeah. clan ancestors yeah that's something new yeah all right uh we got somebody new up here t lighty give us your age race and pronouns Yes, brother. Le brother Legend? How you doing? Yeah. I'm you. well. Uh, so, Christopher, over 18, and I'm E. Your race? Race? Yes. I'm black. All right, talk to I'm us. Talk to the black. <laughs> All right, so here's the thing. Um, I'm fully convinced right now, 100%. Uh, there's no doubt, not even an uh, uh, ounce of doubt that the worst thing for us as as um colored people as black people is um i have to say it as it is the bible and um religion and uh here's the reason why you see history is the second greatest teacher um in my view the universe which is nature is the first te greatest teacher and history is the second greatest. No, if we are not learning from history, then I don't think that we are moving as a people, as a race. And so we have a system here that suppresses our people for many, many, many years, like for, for like hundreds of years. And we have not um, take this into consideration that we need to learn from history. We need to learn from history. And so here's the thing. We are so quick because of Christianity, because of the Bible, the so-called books that only 500 years ago. We are so quick to say, forgive, forgive, forgive. What? I'm in tears when I actually see what happened to my sister. I'm in so much, like, it, I'm, so, I'm, I'm so upset right now, it's not even funny to tell you the truth. Are you gonna, the person's gonna walk over to me and talk about forgive, forgive that. You know what happened? Trust me. How is it that, in, in fact, in fact, when is it that we're gonna take a stand? Because of course, come November and leading up to November, we're gonna see still have people running around talking about um, Democrats and Repo Republican. It's the same system. Both of them is a part, they are the one that's supporting all these atrocity against our people. Why? Because when a guy like, when a person like this guy have done what he have done, the system is there to protect him. And there's no good cop. I have never come across a good cop in, in this country. Never. So who want to say good cop? Because if when I see a good cop, I will know. And I've not seen one as yet. 
Because when that guy about to draw his police weapon, what about the next one beside? He should run over to him and say, no, you can't shoot the woman. You can't do, the, do, do that to the woman. That would be his job. And that should be his job. But what he did as well, he draw, he draw his, his weapon as well. She's gonna tell me. So as, as, see, if, if, if not this one, the next one complicit. So I'm telling you this, if we don't take a stand and, and say enough is enough, and we're not gonna go for neither green, white, purple, or, or blue and, and red, whatever, Democrat and Republican, listen, we have to take a stand and say enough of, is enough. We have to take a stand for our people because the, 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 the thing that they wanna do is suppress our people until what i don't know i'm so upset i'm so i'm the, so distorted it's not even funny i literally cry it's oh amazing. honey yeah. you don't know the tears honey but I'm what i'm saying you, I'm stay so focused i'm so upset how can we how can we sit along, sit along and allow these people to continue to, to deal with our people in, in this such a way well, we got to take those tears and that anger and everything and focus it to do something that's going to make some changes. And Lord knows those are some things we need to be talking about. How can we do that? Where is the, 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 the spirit of, of Tupac, Malcolm X, the Black Panther? When, when is this us, our brother is going to step up and defend our people? Defend our people. It's still there. Right for us. We we, we, you feel that way. I feel that way. Everybody on this panel feel that way. We just got to focus that energy to do what we got to make it do. Make it do I what like, it do. I like that, my sister. I like that, my sister. Do. That is the operative word. To do. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Talking. No, 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 forgive and I'll forgive and I'll watch. These people mm -hmm. don't stop. They don't stop. They know we're the greatest people on this, on this, on this planet. Yeah, we talk to America. No cap. My brother, I'm telling you, I'm so heartbreaking. It's not even funny right now. You can, you can, I'm sorry to hear that. You can know the reason why I'm arranged I'm, I'm like this. I thank you for the opportunity. For, for um, But I, as I say, bro, we have to take the stand. We have to. It's high time now. Stop running run back a Republican. Stop running back a Democrat. Because yes. they're, they're just some, some people. They, they're just ahead of the, 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 um, the suppression. They don't care for us. And I tell you this. I don't think I have one more year in this country. Straight to Africa. Yep. I heard that. Bunch of us doing that. I'm mm -hmm. telling you straight up, 100%. I am going, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm leaving 100%. 100%. Mm -hmm. That's like part of the plan too. Today. Trust me. I'm so heartbreaking. Oh, can you do that? The woman calls for help. Are you going right. there? Even when she said, even when she said um, yes, like you are, anything else you do? No. You should turn away and walk away. Because what? You don't feel good because what? You come on a mission and you want to accomplish that mission. If I, you see, if I, was, if I was anywhere close, I'm, hey, you know, it's, it's okay. I'm getting, like, brother, I'm thanking you. Right now, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm thanking you. I'm thanking you, bro. I, I'm just needed. I need to take that. Trust me. All right. I Thank see, you, I see, I see. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm down. Who come? Who coming to Africa with me, man? I'm out. I'm out. Me. We going to Ghana. I'm coming. We going to Nigeria. Where where we going? We going to uh, Tanzania. Burkina. Try, we we trying to go to Burkina Faso. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I'm ready to go. I keep I'm looking for Trare's daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey, bro, where your daddy? At? Hey, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Well, you got it. Your daddy got some brothers. Come on now. <laughs> yes. Yeah, brother, brother legend. I'm ready to go. Mm -hmm. I've been I ready put, to go. I put a time plea right on my head. One, well, one more year maximum would be one more mm -hmm. year. Yeah. I put a time period on it. Well, that. isn't that brother Kofi on here? Is the young man that's pulling together people? That's right. Uh, coming and giving home them of, information. Yeah, the coming home of the African diaspora. Y'all can okay. uh, y'all can search his name, Prince Kofi. He right. has an organization that is geared towards br bringing brothers and sisters back home to Africa. So, Prince uh, Kofi. Yeah, Prince Kofi. He'll help you find Ooh. land, um, help you build a house, um, all of that. Absolutely. He's from, he's Edway, from, uh, 
I think her sister on YouTube, her name is Stephanie Perry. She has a business where she's a professional house sitter. Like she's lived all over the world house sitting, but she pulled together all these sisters that have moved out of the country and that live all over the world. So she's got good advice too about how, mm-hmm. you know, to, to decide where you want to live, what you need to do, everything. So for sisters, and she has pulls a lot of sisters together. And there's some sisters down in Costa Rica. That's another place I want to go to where they have this retreat for black women. And I'm thinking about looking into that. Yeah, we got to come together outside of this place and get our our, uh, spirits in order and and balance them chakras and and then, you know, do what we got to do. I think I think um, Burkina and I hear that I have a new Burkina uh, no uh, visa free for all uh, diaspora. I think I heard something like that. I need to check it and see if it's true. But I'm yeah. not surprised though. Did you hear anything about that, brother legend? I heard that about Kenya and uh, I think Ghana has something like that. But um, I didn't hear about Burkina. But I know. Uh, there are brothers uh, from America. Oh no, sisters! It was actually two two sisters that went to Burkina Faso. They make videos on TikTok. Um, but yeah, they out there in Burkina Faso. Yeah, I'm excited, bro. I'm excited. Trust me, I'm excited. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Big up to the brothers and sisters from the motherland, living on the continent. Your American, African brothers and sisters in the West. Uh, from the Caribbean, Afro-Brazilian brothers and sisters that understand their, their ties to the land, history, and culture of our ancestors. We coming. Yeah. <laughs> we coming. And we not coming to colonize. We coming to help y'all build. We yeah. coming to help y'all build and grow that economy and reconnect it back to brothers and sisters here so we can start the exchange of wealth yep. back into our motherland. Absolutely. All right. Yes, yes. All right, y'all. I'm about to get out of here. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for the live, man. Thank you for keeping the the, the live goal up, man. Tapping like. Big up to all the sisters, man. I hope uh, some of y'all, you know, got to express your viewpoints. You know, I hope some of y'all got to hear some of the brothers how we how we uh, united in uh, protecting our sisters. You know, what I'm saying all brothers. We need to be that we need to be that brother or sister can call on so she don't got to call on the police. You know what I'm saying? All sisters, you need to practice your second amendment rights. You know what I'm saying? You need to have something. Go to the range. Go to the range. You know what I'm saying? You live in a, you live in a, an environment hostile towards your blackness and will not protect you. You know what I'm saying? So, understanding that Understand that your safety is your responsibility in a hostile environment. It's a shame. It shouldn't be that way. But nothing is as it should be in an injustice system. When there is injustice, nothing is as it should be. And so we have to accept it for what it is. I seen one sister say, strapped and ready. Absolutely. Absolutely. And brothers, we need to be the first line of defense for our sisters. Whenever men and women have lived together amongst them amongst each other there's always needed to be a system of protection for women black women don't have that system of protection black men even struggle to protect themselves from the protectors and black men sometimes have even uh, internalized the white man's mindset in causing harm to his own sisters brothers we should be the protectors all right so either way i'm gonna see y'all tomorrow I just wanted to spread some love, some melanin on your screen. Free Haiti, free Congo, free Jamaica, free Kenya, free Sudan, free Burkina Faso, Mali, Niger, Kenya, Nigeria, free South Africa, free Zimbabwe, free uh, Brazil, free all our brothers and sisters in the West, free all our brothers and sisters in America. Black laws for black liberation for all black people. My name is Brother Legend. I'm here to raise your consciousness, and I'm out.